Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are back again for another episode of How I Sin. In this episode, we are covering Ooh, He's Diva. Let's jump into it. Diva is one of my at least top five favorite VST synths that I use. The way the filter interacts with the oscillators and the way the effects interact with the filters is unlike any other software synth that I've used so far. It's very interesting and I love it, so let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the initialized patch here and I'm gonna turn down the output because you already know these synths are extremely loud. So let's see what that sounds like. I'm gonna turn up a little bit more. So if you watch any of my other videos, you already know I love pulse with modulation and you also know that I love the detune sound. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see what we can come up with. So in order to do that, basically we can leave this one here at ramp down. We'll take the second one to ramp up and I'm going to go ahead and offset the tune. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's already sounding crazy. So you can make some really nasty, growly type of bass sounds. So I'm gonna mess with the filter a little bit to see how that interacts so I can kind of show you what I was talking about earlier. So usually when you start to reduce the frequency cutoff, you won't even hear that phase sound anymore. But let's go ahead and see if we can still hear it. Nice. That sounds amazing. So I could literally just throw on a reverb and mess with that and make a crazy sound. Let's see what that sounds like real quick. Nice. So I'm going to deactivate that. I'm going to change these envelopes to the analog envelopes because the default envelope is ADS, which means attack, decay, sustain. So it doesn't really have a controllable release. So I'm going to use the analog ones because it has a controllable release. So I'm going to boost that release a little bit and let's hear what that sounds like. Nice. I love that tail. The end of that just sounds crazy. Okay, so as you can see, already out the box, we already got something dope. And if you wanted to, you could even, you know, take that and make an FM sound and make a really nice glassy belly type of sound if you take the pitch up and take up the FM. So let's kind of mess with that and see what that does. So that's with no effects or anything like that. So, you know, if I was to throw a reverb on that, let's see what that sounds like.
cool. So I'm going to show you guys another thing that I was telling you about how the oscillators interact with the filters and how everything interacts within this plugin. So the crazy thing about the filters on this plugin is that the input level of the oscillators affect the tone of the actual filter. So let's test that out and see. So if I go here, as you can see, I have the volumes up to 100% on all of these. Let's go ahead and check how it's interacting now. And I'm going to boost this feedback so you can kind of get an idea. Nice. So that sounds really good. But let's see what happens when we actually reduce the volume of those oscillators. So I'm going to take them down to about 10 percent and let's see what type of difference in tone that makes for the feedback. Let me turn it down. Boost that a little bit. As you can see, the tone changes dramatically and it goes from a slight growl to a more intense growl. And that's interesting how the lower the volume on the oscillators, the more distortion you get from the filters. It's really weird. But anyway, that's another thing that I love about this plugin. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here to let's go to presets and I'm going to go to initialize June 60. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and automate the pulse width and I'm going to make a pad sound. So I have a chord progression that I played in the background. Let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. So the first thing I'm going to do is slow down the LFO. It's moving a little too fast for me. So I'm going to come down here to the LFO 2 and I'm going to go to sync here and change that time to let's do two bars. That should be good. On top of that, I'm going to change the restart to sync and I'm going to change the waveform to sign. So let's see what that sounds like. So as you can hear, it's not really getting a full pulse with modulation sound. So if I look at the scope here, Now, that looks cool, but if you take off the LFO and sweep through manually, you'll get a wider range. So let's check that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and automate that. So I'm going to come over here to Max for Live LFO and let's automate that. So what I have to do is hit configure here on Diva, click on Pulse Width, and then actually I'm going to go ahead and click on a couple other controls that I want to control with my MIDI controller. So I'm going to choose Cutoff, I'm going to choose the Resonance, Envelope, and let's choose LFO2. And then let's go ahead and click on Configure. Now I'm going to map this out to Pulse Width. So let's take a listen to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the scope and see what that looks like compared to what it was before. So as you can see, it's getting a wider range on that. So I love that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I'm gonna change this back to sync. Um, when it's in frequency mode, it just goes even if it's not playing. If it's in sync mode, it only goes when the track is playing. So I'm gonna change it to sync mode and I'm gonna put it to one bar and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so let's slow that down some more. I'm gonna go to about four bars and see what that sounds like. Okay, so I'm gonna slow that down a little bit more. So I'm gonna go up to eight, that should do it. So from there, another thing I love about this plugin is it has some really dope effects. So let's mess with the effects and see what we can come up with. We have a chorus here, let's just rock with the chorus and the delay. Actually, I'm gonna do a plate. So let's rock with the chorus first and see what that sounds like. Nice, that sounds amazing. So I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit more and then I'm gonna activate the reverb and see what we can get out of that. Nice. Man, this thing has such a lush sound to it. It's just insane. So I think what I wanna do now is I'm gonna add some modulation to the filter and see what we can come up with with that. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna automate the pre-delay of the reverb. I really like that sound that you get when you automate the pre-delay. It creates this nice little shimmer sound. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna name this one Pulse Width Modulation and let's load up another one and name it Verb Pre-Delay. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit configure once again. Come over to your pre-delay, touch that, hit configure, and map it out. I'm going to take the rate almost all the way down. I'm going to offset it a little bit and bring the depth down because I only want it to just slightly move. So I'm going to change that to sync, to sync to the BPM. And let's put it on one bar, change the depth, and let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's a little bit too much movement and it's going too fast. So I'm gonna change that to four bars, change the depth to about two. And let's see what that sounds like.
beautiful. Okay, one more thing I want to do is throw on this echo plugin. And what I'm going to do is I am going to boost the input and activate clip dry, which is going to cause some distortion. So I'm going to put that to about 14. I'm going to compensate for that boost by reducing the output about 14. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. So you hear that little break up of the sound. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and filter out the low end a little bit and kind of adjust the high end. So let's see what that sounds like. Nice. Sounds lovely. So now I'm going to go ahead and route out these controls to my MIDI controller. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit command M. So I'm going to control the frequency cutoff. So I'm going to click on that and then touch a control, click on the resonance and touch a control modulation one, click a control and then modulation two and then click a control. So then I'll hit command M again. And then we can just jam out. Let's try out the Redux and see if that works out. So basically, this is just a bit crusher. I'm just gonna keep it light and let's see what that sounds like. Man, you can really make this thing talk to you, okay? Hey, look, that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about Diva. Do you use Diva in your productions? Let me know what some of your favorite things are about this plugin down in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the bell for notifications. You want to stay tapped in because we're going crazy with the patch creation game, okay? So you don't want to miss out. Again, this is that guy, Face, Face the Music Media. We out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.